Hello everyone, this is uh, me, this is my video. It's all about Japanese pliers and my Japanese pliers. And uh, I've got screwdrivers as well, but that's not a part of this video. But over the last couple months, I've been um, stocking up on some Japanese tools before I head back stateside. And uh, once I'm back stateside, um, I have, just for context, an electrical apprentice um, program waiting for me to get there and then I'll show up and uh, and start so I wanted just uh, starter tools and well I went off the rails <laughs> really I went off the rails and you'll see this is just my Japanese stuff uh, which I, I have more Japanese stuff wait I have a r around as much Japanese stuff as I have everything else but uh, let's take a look let's take a look at this all right, so I, ah, there we go. I'm gonna move up a little bit. So uh, these are just some some tools up here, some other things, and you can see my uh, is my soldering iron, and then my Knipex pliers wrench, little 150. I have that um, for something else, something else. But I will move this camera, and we'll take a look at least a little look over all of it. I'm gonna limit it on range, but you can get an idea of how much there is. So let's take a look at them. So I'll go buy some, some stuff. I'll go buy some stuff pretty quickly. Let's do this. All right, so first ones being, I have some Fujia. Minitech MTN03 tack 135 little snips angled a bit little snips I got this. this is the first tool I actually ever bought uh, here and then those are for it was for my soldering project so little wires and then next to it is or are these Fujia 90CS tack 125 these you might, might have seen them before these are for zip ties to get flush straight cuts so that uh, they don't tear your fingers uh, when you are messing with them later. All right, so let's get some others out of the way. We'll do, I guess, go from this direction out. There's some interesting stuff in here, uh, but I'll try and knock out some of these. But first, I have these Marvels, Marvel Lineman Pliers, MDH P225 made in Japan. So 225 millimeters in length. And uh, yeah, these are pretty nice, pretty loose right out of the box as well. But uh, I like them as linesman pliers, good cutters, really good cutters for linesmen as well. Not, not Knipex level, but uh, pretty good. The only thing is the head, it is, there's no cross hatching on the head as you can see. So the grip is gonna be just weaker than what most likely you're typically used to seeing. But those are the marbles, they're very nice. Now I've got some more marble stuff. Um, let's go into these. I'll push these over as I go, cause I'll just be picking and choosing. These are marble cable shears. I put some ballast on a few of these a while ago, so they might still be a little bit shiny. But these are the Marble ME38 made in Japan, right? Pretty nice cable shears, right? Nothing crazy about it. I'll actually get a little piece of this Uf Japanese UFB. Oh God, it doesn't open great. It takes a bit to open, but pretty easy to cut. Let's get that more in frame. So about the width of a pinky, this UFB or the, uh, across uh, half as much in between. So with the marbles, I need to go as far out as I can, put it in and just snip. Easy, much easier than the linemen's and arguably easier than the um, cross cut pliers, the shear pliers. Um, I don't like, I wish it, oh, I wish I had bigger hands or something, but it doesn't open far enough when my hands are spread out like uncomfortably like I've got that's as far as it'll go and I'm, I'm kind of uncomfortable doing this and it's still a, a struggle to get this in here 
So this is mainly used for, let's say, the, 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 the conductors, the wires within here. So anywho, that's those. All right, let's then jump to these these types of Fuji. Let's move into this type of Fuji. Okay, so first off, we have regular stock standard Fuji. These are the only you know one of two dikes that I have uh, Japanese. These are the Fuji number seven seven zero, made in Japan. Nice grips, not crazy loose actually, but it does the job. So it actually opens a lot wider than my cable shears and it cuts, oh, but it is not great. Not great if I want to cut something like that, but for something uh, for smaller, go for it, right? All right, then I've got my, I believe, one of two needle nose, but my only needle nose that is just, just a needle nose. These are for Geo 350 or 200 zero zero, made in Japan needle nose 200 millimeters in length right so that's all it is needle nose I have nothing bad to say about it other than that's kind of boring that's why I got something else on this list but these are my main linesmen's that I that I have not only Japanese just the ones that I use they're very nice they open right up I've broken them in a lot but uh, to be fair they didn't really come to um, rough anyways. These are the Fujiya 3300225 made in Japan. Lovely linesman's. Um, my, they have a crimper at the bottom, obviously. My only problem, however, with them is, as you can tell on most Fujiyas, maybe all Fujiyas, they don't have that cross hatching on the top, so gripping is not going to be as good. Um, I guess for for the cutting, it's gonna, it might be even better than those dikes. Oh, it's about the same. Yeah, about the same as the dikes. So the dikes cut as well as these. So that says something. All right, so that's those kind of Fujias. Let's move on to this first. These are the Tajima DK MC four zeros. These are specifically here to get can't really cut that but to go on cable and shear around so i can pull off right it's uh like on romex you can do it i guess if you want but you don't put all the way these are very sharp by the way and as long as you get the depth right and then move around and you don't move any further in it's all based on your hand as long as you get that down, there will be no trouble. But it's so sharp that if you get any kind of wiggle room on there in your hand, just goes in just a little bit, you're cutting right through the, the jacket and into the actual copper. So I recommend if you've got a steady hand, or at least a steadier hand than me. All right, next are oh, these Fujiya have the same handles. These are bigger cable shears. These are the Fujiya 600-240. Big cable shears, you've probably seen Klein that look like this, and they cut like butter. Very nice, very nice, very easy. They have, um, I would say these marbles might be easier to, to actually shear. However, this opening is far easier to get on a, like it, it, does, it looks maybe around the same, but with less effort, I can easily fit this in easier, a wider, a wider, um, just a bigger wire, bigger um, conductor, set of conductors in these jaws. So I'll take, it doesn't, it do, isn't much worse than these marbles and my ligaments are going to not be crooked later in life. Okay, uh, next we have more Fujiya. These are different though. These are not made in Japan. They're their weird comfort grip FP, F premium, FP 200 golf. So 200 millimeter linesman pliers that just recently came out as of uh, January, 2024. They are not the loosest. I'm trying to work on them. They're not the loosest. Um, they are new and they still don't have cross hatching on the head. So yeah. I guess that's just a decision by Fujiya. I'll actually try and cut with this. 
Oh. Oh. Jeez. So it doesn't feel as bad with the handles um, as the other Fujia, but it's, it takes more pressure, I think, because it is just 200. But um, yeah, I would not recommend these. They come a bit stiff, and really they're not, like these aren't good enough grip for handles. Like I've had, I have comfort grip. I have bigger, let me pull out my Knipex for comfort grip. Ah. Knipex forged wire stripper. This comfort grip is so superior to this comfort grip. I don't know what they actually call it other than F premium, but it's obviously a comfort grip style because it looks a lot like the Kleins, which I don't have any of the Kleins. However, it's not great. And I have dikes in the, my second of two dikes in the same style, 200 millimeters, F, FKN 200 G. I think I might've said golf last time, but G. Anyways, let me get some wire to try that out actually. So, oh, that was my bones. Oh my God, I will not squeeze anymore. That's as far as we got. Couldn't get that center. All right, well, if you wanna hurt yourself, if you wanna spend a lot of time, uh, not necessarily trying to cut these all the time, but just as you can tell, it just takes more to get through even probably smaller conductors or definitely smaller conductors. It's still more, more energy. Man, that's depressing cut right there. Oh, so much cutting. All right, let's move on to, uh, so we got through those. Let's knock out these. This is the Tajima uh, knife. Does it have a parts number? Nope, just a knife. Anyways, it is nice it extends out pretty far extends out pretty far but uh it doesn't have that spine that knipex has but who does but knipex but pretty little uh hefty handy knife no issue there and then i've got these kind of scissors yeah that's what they are they're just scissors i wanted nice scissors um uh, and i was tired of having my hand kind of cramped so i just went ahead and got these they cut fine they cut nice if I want paper, they'll do fine. These are the Tajima DK BB50. And the these grips, these handles, they feel cheaper than some of these other handles, but they, they're not uncomfortable. They get the job done. Okay, next are my first wire strippers from Japan. These are the Device DVC CT702 with also SK, SK markings. And in millimeters, it shows millimeters and AWG um, on the side there. 2.5 up to 0 0.65 and then 10 to 22 gauge. Um, also has a crimper down here. There's a crimper. It's obviously, um, what is it? Spring, uh, not spring loaded, but it has a spring to help just uh, pop back out, helps your hand. And as I can, as I can see, let me actually try and get some here get a wire I should get wire for later anyways so let me do let me get some jacket off so we'll go ahead go ahead and get some off I don't have to make it pretty or anything so just go okay. get that off all right so I've got some wires here all right so I want to strip right this is uh, a 12 uh, gauge wire so get it in Oof. there we go all right and sticks in let me try a different one actually try the cutters there no problem there let me try 10 if that's easier maybe I'm mistaken 10 All right, that was easier. Yeah, they're 10 then. 10 gauge wire, pretty simple, no complaints there. Very, very easy, smooth, doesn't take much pressure. That first one was just off because I just put in the 12. But this is a easy, nice, like stock standard um, stripper. And it's got these nice little handles here so I don't go over it. It gives me more leverage, it feels, or the ability to use more leverage, I guess. All right, next. Got these. Got these. 
just pull whatever I want with it. I have no I have no idea the brand. It looks like it's like wrought iron. <laughs> like it looks pretty beat. I bought them like this, um, but the head looks nice. And uh, I just have this, uh, so I'm not spending too much money on, um, you know, something nicer like Knifex or a Klein. If they have these, I don't know. Uh, these were pretty cheap. These were like 10 bucks and um, actually less with the, uh, in yen. But uh, anyways, have these, no idea the brand. Uh, they definitely aren't Fujia. All right, next I got those. All right, let me just knock these spider bolt cutters out. Spider SK11. Uh, they are made in Japan. Have to unlatch this at the bottom, which I don't like. I might. But as you can see, it's very spring heavy and easy, right? It's, uh, I've tested this out pretty, it cuts pretty well. I have no issues with it. Uh, if you can hear that, that's a motorcycle outside. But uh, I have no issues with this. Uh, I also bought this, not too expensive, um, maybe like 20 bucks. But it is, in case I ever need it, I didn't want to go too crazy um, on something as, for me, niche. And as I've seen niche. So that's out of the way. Now let's, no, not that yet. Knock that out. Let's, uh, let's get into some of these last ones. So I'm on this last row right here. So these are actually my cross cut pliers before I get to my favorite find, but my cross cut pliers, here's one. And it is the, the with the shear cut, right? I'm like, they're linesmen's, but they're not, they don't have the new England style head. They're like the shear style. These are three peaks DF 220 made in Japan. They don't have cross hatching on the head as you can see oh as you can see it's like that on both sides so the gripping is not going to be great it came pretty loose oh, there we go pretty pretty loose if i work with it a little bit it should it should open up pretty easily three peaks i haven't heard of before and it says in japanese here that let's see i don't know if you can see this there's a little space at the very bottom here where you can see it, uh, the very bottom of the cutter that there's a little hole here and I believe it says you can put um, you can put put some metal there and it will actually cut through it obviously the top is designed more for copper but you can put a harder metal there and uh, actually get a cut because it's closer to the um, the rivet so it should be nicer I haven't tried that yet I because um, as I found these these blades are not too great. Um, it doesn't it doesn't cut very well, so I'm not gonna break it doing uh, a harder cut. But even on on basic, this already pre cut Not that. Uh, I'll go from the other end actually. See, so as you can see, I'm gonna put put more effort than I should with these shear uh, type pliers however much much less than some of those a lot actually all the pinch cuts even knipex um i'm putting more uh into the knipex which are over there uh, force than i am on these just based off of the style of blade there okay so next one which is far better is this engineer brand i think they're called negisaurus engineer pz79 lot 22 echo 22e oh let's try and get it all right so what's cool about these not only are they cross cut but they have a very large head that has cross hatching on it oh let's try and get it cross hatching oh and i don't know if it will come out but there we go cross hatching on the head and as you can see there is an area on the on this this side oh where's the finger where's the finger this side that you can grab a um, you can grab a nut with it's much better yeah or a um, nail sorry much nicer for grabbing yeah and it's a uh, pretty strong it cuts pretty nicely right so let's just get the cut in there it cuts way nicer than the three peaks right minimal effort on it 
this is nice. This is a nice one. I do have to break it in some, a lot more than the others. However, it is very nice, and I'm thinking about um, stepping into this later. Next, though, is my Marvels. A lot of you have probably seen this. These are the Marvel MBA 200 ends, right? So 200 millimeters, I've got a crimper at the bottom, nice head at the top that has cross hatching. Um, not super harsh, just like the others. The Japan doesn't seem to go super harsh on the cross hatching. Big head, let's uh, compare it to the Negisaurus's though. And um, the Negisaurus comes out a bit bigger, but these cutters are better than the Negisaurus's. So let's get some here, as you can see. Let's get here, minimal effort. Reposition so I don't cut my finger off. Minimal efforts, about as a little bit better than the engineer on when on just the four sticks to go through. However, when I'm um, actually um, stripping the main conductor, right, or yeah, I'm stripping the jacket off. This is much nicer blade on that, and you, since it's sharper, I can have better control. And I don't have to press as hard and uh, maybe ruin the conductors underneath. So I really like these marbles. Uh, coming up last though, um, not in, um, what is it, not in quality, but just in the order, are these Fujiya Kurakin 6050200BG, right? These are very interesting, obviously, sheer type, got a smaller head though, and there is no cross hatching on there, same as the other Fujiyas, came pretty loose, which is nice. These are the Kurikin, again, 200. Uh, came very nice and really nice cutters, actually. Really nice cutters. It is the least amount of effort to cut. It's it's like I have cable shears. They're, they're, they feel better than the cable shears on here. So these are very nice. I might have to get the big cable shears uh, in the Kurikin brand. The only problem is that head is tiny tiny head and there's no cross hatching which means that um, it's just going to be i have less torque i have less torque and i have less gripping power right gripping strength all right now for the last tool last of the pliers and this was a pretty pretty new one you might have seen you might not have these are my fujias fujia 330 tech 200 sl and I really dig these. Needle nose, obviously, but obviously a stripper as well. The, the handles, I wish they could be better to give me more um, control, and I feel like I can get more leverage. However, still not bad. They go from 5.5 in millimeters um, all the way up to 0.3. So let me actually look at these. They go from, oh wow. So they go from a bigger gauge than my other strippers and they go down to a smaller gauge, which is nice. All right. They also, I mean, stock standard needle nose, um, at least for that, but let's compare the size to the regular Fujiya needle nose and you'll see a massive difference inside. These, these ones hefty, these not super hefty. However, these will, you know, I'll show you in a second, but they'll grab fine, they're, they're nice, they feel good. Um, you can actually also put, um, you can put a screw through there and crimp it, or I mean cut it M4, M3. But on the other side, if you don't know millimeters, at least sizes for wire, they have the gauges on the back, which is 10 through 22. So 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So very nice. So let me actually strip some wire here. So it was the 10, right? So get that oh is it not the 10 maybe maybe it is yeah that doesn't feel like it's the 10 my put on the 12 maybe this is why I thought it was a 12 am I stripping on two separate ones here hold on yeah that came off very easy that came off easy easy strip but I was doing it at the 12 so let me cut that actually bring these out 
And I'll go on the 12. That got it, but I scored the copper a little bit. So let me actually strip one of these other ones here at the at the 10. Yeah, the 10 feels good here and it feels solid, but there's no way I'm stripping it with the 10 on here. So they're different sized holes actually, which is just lovely. That makes for a good time. That's where the confusion came from. All right. I'm just going to pull without turning and no, okay. So instead I will twist as I should have done, right? And it comes off. It comes off admittedly harder. Like it's not as good as here doing it so much and having my hand pre fatigued by stuff I've done before this video and also during it. Um, this with this grip is a lot nicer. Um, this being a thin grip, I need to put more pressure on on my hands to actually get the strip going. Yeah, but I'll do it again. Yeah, on the 10, that's just, that's just not the greatest. And then from the 12. Yeah, but not too bad once I'm once I'm going strong, but I see repeated uses with this a little bit um, tiresome on the hands. It came loose, which is nice. And I'm looking at it to actually replace just a stock standard needle nose because just a needle nose I feel is just very boring. And I might just want to get something like this to um, take its place, especially like, I mean, I'm just going to be grabbing it to um, get a better hold of uh, getting better reach in a box maybe, but I mean, I could just grab a wire, twist it, and I've got a little hook as I should, right? So let me just, the cutter's so nice on this as well. Anywho, these are all my pliers. Oh gosh, you get to see kind of the mess I made here, but you know, these are the pliers. Lots of them, long video, but uh, yeah. I think I went a bit overboard. There we go, hold on. I went a bit overboard on it. I have obviously duplicates, but um, I am looking to, to just get, I think I might stop here, hopefully, at my Japanese pliers. I wanted to get them here with no shipping, no shipping price, uh, no shipping cost added, and I might find some unique things here. Like this, very unique, these. Uh, Fujias. I really liked having access to these cross cuts very easily. I know people were buying, wanted to buy these marbles and had to go to eBay to find it and pay shipping. There's a whole thing. These are ready, readily available here, which is nice. And just, I really like these uh, foreign tools. They're very interesting and I'll have plenty of access to regular tools, regular American goods when I'm back in the States. But yeah, Tell me what you think about um, my Japanese plier collection. What, uh, anything interesting else? I can Any other interesting Japanese pliers I can maybe get my hands on? Um, maybe I should stop, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited about, about um, all these Japanese tools. And I guess I'm a tool fiend now. Uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous thing to, to, to jump into as all of you I'm sure are aware. But uh, yeah, tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, look for next video or don't. Have a good day. Yeah.